take. Do you one. have kids? Nieces, nephews, all the people going on have kids. Well, good news, because they're a kids club. Renegade. Welcome along to our P&O Cruises Kids Club Guide. And as you can see today, I've been joined with Alice. Alice, welcome along. She's one of the smaller Hi. of the four Bs. We have Ernest as well, but he refuses to go to kids club. So he would be absolutely he hopeless. Go. Well, you, did, you couldn't go. We'll get onto that in a minute, Alice. So he'll be hopeless in this video, but Alice does go along to Kids Club, so she's going to help me along and give us a tour of Kids Club. How exciting. So Alice, tell us what Kids Club you are on in P&O Cruises. What's oh, your age? Scubas. Scubas and you are? Ten. Ten years old. Can you tell us about what the other clubs are? So there's splashes for two to four year olds, surfers to five to eight year olds, there's um, Sco Scubas for nine to twelve, um, scene for 13 to 18. It certainly is. And the night nursery is for babies. S yeah, six months to four years old. Very good. Yes, those are the kids' clubs. The kids' clubs are on five of the PO ships. So, Iona, Arvia, the two new ships. They're also on Ventura and Azura and Britannia. If you want to avoid people like Alice, then do you know what you got to go on? Um, a non-slaying ship. <laughs> a non-slaying ship and also Aurora and Arcadia because they are adults only. So if you want to avoid kids, then go on to them. Now, first of all, we're going to go through the process, Alice. I'm not sure whether you knew about this process. But first of all, two weeks before your cruise, while you're booking your restaurants and your entertainment, you'll also get a form for each child. And on that form, it'll give you general questions. For example, does your child have any allergies? Um, all those questions like yes, no type of questions. Do they take medicines? And then you'll have to give details of that. It's all very, very simple form. And then at the bottom of the form, you then have to fill out the details of the next and kin or the people that are gonna be picking up yourself. So for example, I put myself down, put my details down. I also put uh, Rachel's details down. She's your mum. Uh, and then obviously you just pen send and there we go. And then your child is registered. But do not fear. We went on last time with Grandma B. Yes, I know, yeah. And we didn't have her name registered. But all we did, we brought her up to Kids Club one day. They tagged her card and then she could pick you up. And she did one of the evenings. So it's a very, very simple um, registration process which also can be done on board. Once you are on board, when you drop off the kids, you just have to beep the card. And then when you pick them up, again, you have to beep the card. Do you like that? Beep. And you can take your child away. And uh, it's as simple as that. Before we go on to the tour and more information, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video and other great cruise content, then please give us a like. Subscribing is free. And on the way, we have plenty of videos, including Queen Mary, MSC Aruba. Titanic. Not Titanic. Alice thinks that Queen Mary looks like Titanic. And we'll prove it's not. And we'll ask the question, is Cunard for kids? Is it? No. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong. I reckon it will be. Once you're on board, you then got a process. You then have the, they call it an app, but it's actually a web page. And on that web page, you'll have at the bottom youth. You just press youth. And then 8.30 the day before, remember this, 8.30 the day before, you can book your child in. And you have to really be on. If it's a busy, we had 700 kids on our cruise. Yeah, it's very, very busy. So you just press that youth button, go in to book a session. You'll have three sessions. If it's a C day, which C day it was, the timings? 10 to? 10 to 12. 10 to 12. The afternoon um, was? 2 to 5 and 6, 6 to 12. Yes, those are the C day ones. They don't do a morning one on port days. Yeah, but they got 2 to 4 and 6 to 12. Yes, Thanks. yes, they have those ones. And you just press those and then you're booked in. For Alice, there was no problem, was there? We, we could book her in any time, really, the day before, and sometimes actually on the day. But for Ernest, and he would have been in, what would he have been in? Surf Surfers. Surfers, yes, because he is eight years old. It was always fully booked by the time we looked at about nine, ten o'clock. Didn't really matter to us because Ernest didn't want to go in. But 
He did a little bit, but yeah, but he was kind of glad when it was fully booked. So you really have to be on the button at 8.30 before. And of course, it's all going to depend on what the high ratios are for each group. But on our one, it was definitely was the surface. So be on there 8.30 before. Go on to the web page and book yourself in. And then you're done and you're ready. You take your child to Kids Club. You show your card, beat them in, and then you say goodbye. It's very emotional, isn't it? Yeah and they're ready to go. But of course you want to find out what the kids clubs are like inside. And we have done a tour of every single room and Alice is first of all going to go through Scuba's, which is the nine to 12 room. In the Scuba's, um, at the start you can draw on that board there. And then as we go through, you can see there's connect floor, which anyone can play. To the side, there's um, games you can play like FIFA and other games. On these tables, you can play games or do arts and crafts. There's air hockey, um, which is very popular in the kids' club. <laughs> then you've got more games and there's also Lego. And then inside here is where most of the games are hosted, like Disney quizzes, discos, Britain's Got Talent. And then there's a jukebox there, so you can play any music you want. Also on the TVs you can draw on them. That's what the disco looks like. Also, there's Nintendo Switches there. Thank you, Alice, for that tour of Scubas. As you can see, there was where you can leave the quiz chairs while the kids are in Kids Club. This now is the surfers from five to eight. As you can see, quite similar to Scubas, plenty of activities, Lego, arts and crafts. Also, there is uh, computer games uh, for them to play. Just centered around a little bit of a younger age group. But it's a really cool space actually in here. I think actually looking at the rooms, the surface was my favorite room. It looked a lot of fun in here actually. Lots of books to read. And there is the difference is there is a soft play in this one. Again, more areas for arts and crafts. And every session will be themed. There is trained youth staff and obviously the correct ratios of staff to kids in the kids club, a little outdoor area and the air hockey again. Massive screens for more computer games. And as we said before, this was really, really popular on our cruise on Avia. Obviously each room will differ slightly on each cruise ship out of the five P&O ships, but all have similar themes, similar activities. Or again, just going with the age group, similar arts, crafts, Lego, but then obviously you've got the uh, themed soft play, you've got the little road there, you've got the pirate ship, 
So it's just themed to the different age groups. Obviously, this is going to be two to four. Quick mention on the night nursery. Obviously, this is 6 p.m. in the evening till 2 a.m. You've got to settle the children and the babies. And if they wake up, you'll get a pager and that'll be alerted. And then you've got to go and pick up your kids or resettle them down. And that goes until 2 a.m. And finally, for the teenagers is the scene. The scene is separate on Iona and Avia down on deck six. And as you can see, this area is a place where they have no structured activities. Basically, you will have a time where it's open and a time where it's closed and you can come and go throughout those times. Obviously, just sign yourselves in and out. Table football, pool, interactive games on the wall. They've also got lots of um, board games. There was a little vending machine, but there was nothing in that vending machine. A bit like the one outside the cinema when we were on board. TVs, computer games, nice place just to chill. Don't forget our socials, Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, and the new one, Threads. Sign up and get to see some more cruise content and get to know the 4Bs a little better. But that is the scene area on Iona and Avia is down just outside the theatre on Deck 6. So that is our full guide to Kids Club. What's your experience been of Kids Club? Did you enjoy Kids Club? Um, yes. Yes? I think so. Yeah, it's all good. If you'd like more information about Kids Club, just ask us a question down below in the comments. Well, they got a hit. The subscribe button. And don't forget to give us a like. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Threads. Have you been on Threads? What's that? And all, all on TikTok. Our, and all of our socials. At the end of this video, we do have our full review of Avia, so check that out and press that on the screen. Alice, thanks for joining us today. Have you enjoyed it? I'm not sure. We'll see you again soon on Cruising with the Four Bs. All we've got to say now is happy... Cruising. <laughs>